know, they feel you like you can't see quickly against sun, against sunlight. Ei ole koko ajan haastaa. Koko ei vaan kuva. Ja myös koko ajan kuvaa. Ja meidän kanssamme on kanssamme kanssamme. Mr. Samuel. You have come to see something that has been absent for eight generations, at least, and for you, maybe 14. The world is moving. Tidal waves of change, we have prepared all our people to learn to learn the measurement, the shape of the world beyond the sea. For it is a powerful world. But something is missing. In the hearts of men, the Halimua knew this so and rose up to learn again those things that measure the birth of Aloha. Aloha is thought to be kind of a sweetheart thing to be loved. But it is about love of nation, love of land, love of God, and love of heaven. All of that is relative in this world of Allah. As you start to dissect it, you lose some of its rich value. Our children go off to school, and when they reach about the fourth or fifth grade, their leaders are changed. You have a father of a country who's wearing a wig, silk stockings. His name is Washington. We have Daniel Boone and David Crockett for the heroes of the nation. But this nation, these people, uh, 2,500 miles from absolutely anywhere, have a rhythm and have notice heaven. Heaven is a specific place. The bowl of heaven is also noticed in what we call the Milky Way. That is the Moho Kalani. And every light in the Milky Way is a campfire of someone's ancestor. They burn for Amoa, they burn for Tonga, they burn for Aotearoa, they burn for Rapa Nui, they burn for Hawaii. We are called Hawaii Pahi, Hawaii of the Flame. Raiatea, which means the far heaven, burns Hawaii Day. And some place beyond the land of Amoa, the death of the warrior, is a place called Sabati. And then across the New Caledonia, and up the uh, archipelagos of the Western Islands, until a place called Hava, now called Java. And all the way up the Malacca Straits, where there is an island that all boats pass and bow to. It's called Murakai. Our echo is still out there. And so this day you are seeing the echo, the ancient murmur become the living song. This is the first year of this training. Each one has learned his prayers and went to face in the morning and the evening. All of these things are being taken in and all the moral code or couple that come with any kind of story. If you pick up medicine, you have to know how to use it. If you pick up aloha, there are covenants that come with it. And they are being taught that by the Bakua, those in the back row, those who are in the Takaniwa, again making alive that which is necessary to a people called Hawaiian. Most of us are not Hawaiian until a lonely one called Tamehameha had swayed over Hawaii, and then we became Hawaiian. You try to remember who you were when you were a Lono, a Pele, a Piilani, 
Africa, and Poli, and the people of Hawaii. All of these people were different cultures that spoke similar language. This language is disappearing. It is being used to tell you about computers and adjustments, but they are more ancient terms. These men already possess the first year of all those terms. They know how to do the Abba and drink again in the body of God. This intensity? Yes. All of this is valuable to who? To Hawaiians. You can be anything else in the world. But you were born on a land that has its own echo and its ancient drama. I give you the beginning of the living song. This is the first year, and they will rise again to the second and third. They will never be able to say, no one taught me, my uncle did not say anything, my uncle was one not there. They are all here. You are all here. The Maku of Edward of uh, Hanimu is here, and Eli is here. Mahalo. Bye,